from Las Vegas, this is News 3 Today. 637 and tech this out. Our tech expert is live in our studio to give us some insight on drones. If you're thinking of getting one, he's done all the homework for you. Plus the gift of gift back time now for tech this out i'm joined today by our tech expert kenny elison and he's going to talk to us about can you guess some drones mm. just just a few, a few. <laughs> and these are actually your own right yeah yeah these are all mine for sure so tell me what are the process what process did you go through to choose these drones because i know there's so many out there totally so it actually was funny somebody gave me this one a long time ago the and little it started mini one. with a teeny tiny micro drone and it was so much fun, I had to get a little bit bigger one. And then that one was so much fun, I had to get an even bigger one. So it's a, it's a process. It's, it just takes some time. <laughs> so if people are looking to purchase their first drone, they're interested. Yeah. It's really popular these days. Totally. What, what, what advice would you give them? Yeah, so I love the little one. It's actually a great one to learn on because it's not a huge investment. It's only 20 bucks. Uh -huh. And they all use the same controller mechanism. So up is down, you know, left, right, whatever. So if you can learn how to fly this little guy, then you can practice on the bigger ones that cost more money. Oh, yeah. You don't want to break the big ones right, right off of that. Right. And Talk about this big one because it actually has a camera attached to it. I know that's appealing to a lot of yeah, people. They like sure. getting those aerial view pictures. For sure. So actually, this one actually has a camera as well. Oh. Yeah, uh, this is a $200 drone. So this is kind of your entry level camera. It's a Dromeda. Uh, works great. It uh, doesn't stream to the phone or anything. The controller doesn't have a camera view on it. But this one does have a full 4K resolution camera. You can see it's got the, the iPad with the screen showing what's on the camera there. So it's got the gimbal. I mean, it's, it's production quality stuff. You can make some really good videos with that one. So why why do you think people are so interested in drones these days? It's just really become a fun new hobby that so many people are getting into. The price of entry came down a lot over the past six months or even the year, and it's just made it to where people can grab them for, you know, 20, 100, couple hundred bucks and get in the game. I feel like there is some difficulty or a learning curve to learn how to fly these drones, right? Yeah, for sure. So it's, it is awkward. It's not like an RC car or anything. I mean, you've got three different dimensions that you're moving the thing in, so you got to make sure you know what, how to go forward, how to go backwards, up and down. I mean, obviously, you can crash into a lot of different things. So yes, a, we're actually thinking about yeah. you flying it, but then we're like, there's so many lights up lights. there. I don't know if Too it's going to be. Yeah. So, so there's a learning curve, it, but it is doable. I mean, I mean, that's why we started with the small ones. It was you know, an easy way to figure it out and then move up to the bigger ones. And then are there some names that you would recommend for people um, when they're researching? Yeah, for sure. I mean, these are just on Amazon for 20 bucks. There's like a million different versions of them, so just grab one of those for starts. For the smaller yeah, ones. Yeah, for the, for the micro ones. For the mini or for the smaller drones, this is a Dromeda. It's perfect entry level. Two bucks you get in you can learn how to fly it's got a great controller and everything with the camera um, this one is the DJI DJI Phantom mm -hmm. and that's kind of your highest level entry drone I guess you could say so this one um, they have the Phantom 2 or 3 advanced or pro so that's probably uh, another good name to know and that's $200, a middle one. Some people might say, that's a lot of money a little bit for a for toy. Sure. For sure. There are, there are, there is actually a size in between these two. Um, mm -hmm. It's a little bit bigger than this one. That's probably about the $60 to $70 range. Uh -huh. um, also a great entry level one. So. OK, so lots of different choices here. Yeah. Which yep. one do you like best? Well, I used to like this one until I got that one, and then I like that one until I got that one. And I like this one. one. The and most I love this one. one. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> All yeah. right. Well, thank you so much for joining yeah, us, sure. as always. Well, Monthly segment. Check this out. Yep. And we'll be right back after the break.